Hello there, people of the universe. My name is Mike Sfy, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing something I've wanted to do for a very long time, or at least do it to the best of my abilities, and that is renovate my current work environment and try and create my dream setup slash dream work environment. Now, before we get to all that, let's look at how my setup used to look. As you can see here, my backdrop was my Justice League canvas, my two title belts, some fan art. But if you come to the actual desk itself, it looks, it does the job I like, it looks good. But upon closer inspection, it's quite crammed. So that's when I realized, yeah, this, this, this desk, it's not even a desk, it's a tabletop. And then if we move to the right, you see Roman here. You know Roman, he's my, he's my dream PC. He's like family to me. And the thing he's resting on, while effective, Roman deserves better. Put it that way. One of the things I wanted to add, and I've actually wanted to add it for years, is a standing desk. But because of the layout of the room and where my desk was, there just wasn't room for one. But then I thought, hey, what if I pick everything up and then I move it 90 degrees to the right? And that's what I did. Now, on the surface, everything still looks the same. My Justice League canvas is to the right alongside my bed bedside cabinet. Yeah, my wardrobe's more in frame. Bed's still behind me. Fan art still above the bed. You might now be noticing that, oh yeah, things look different. And I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to cut to me showing everything off, including some sexy cinematics because genuinely I am so proud and so happy with all the changes I've made. It not only looks nice, it feels, yeah, this is the space where I can create. Not to mention a standing desk. I am the kind of person who I jump, I bounce around, I'm loud, I'm energetic. And while sitting down all day making videos, playing games, sounds like heaven. When you're in a rut, sat down all day, feeling miserable, it, it, it's not good. I can't comprehend how much better I feel. So I'm going to stop talking. Let's actually show all of this off because genuinely I am so proud and I fucking love it. So yeah. Here we go. And there you have it. I hope it looks as good to me as it does to you. Big thank you to James for filming those cinematics. It was a brilliant day and I'm really, really grateful. Also, a polite pat on the back to me because I did edit that together. I did pick the music and I, I'm i really proud. So without further ado, right off the bat, I, I'm gonna try and put into words how happy I am that I've got a standing desk. I said it at the beginning, but genuinely, I've wanted one for so long, and it's only been a couple of weeks of making videos with it, and my productivity, there's something about me and my energy levels that just mixes well. So thank you to FlexiSpot. It's an amazing and affordable desk for what it is, and of course, IKEA for not only the tabletop, but Roman's amazing brand new plinth. The old one, as I said, was decent, but not good enough for Roman, but this one... This is worthy of the king, and in terms of the stuff that's on it, we'll get to that, but yeah. And as well, while we're down here, let's look at my cable management. This is reused for my old setup, so thank you. But this stuff up here that's been cable managed to the actual tabletop, that's mostly for the desk. We've got the control panel over here, which then goes into the control box, 
which all of this was screwed and all of this was built by me, which might not seem like a big task, but genuinely I enjoyed putting this all together myself. It was a lot of fun and what my dad did offer to help and I appreciate that. I, I wanted to do this on my own, I wanted to do it by myself and I'm really proud and yeah, and then this thing here which isn't attached but that, that's fine if I ever get, if it ever gets in the way, if it ever gets in the way I can adjust it. That's more or less like um, the battery kind of thing because then that goes into here which then plugs into this. Uh, then we've got my little RGB strip, Hello Roman. And that goes all the way around. I was going to put it down the legs of the desk or maybe like round the back. But then I thought, no, I want it to be like, I want it to give more of the attention to the front of the desk. And it looks brilliant. Obviously, my mic is there. You can see one cable, two. But this one will eventually get hoisted up. I haven't had a chance yet. So for now, I've put it in this little sleeve just so it looks slightly nicer. And speaking of those sleeves and it looking nice, just you wait until you see Romans. I spend so much time making it look nice, making it fit and making it work because you'll notice as we go over to Roman, he is side on, which that's the only, the only downside to changing everything around is that when I'm on camera, you can't see Roman to my right like you used to. The reason it was difficult having him here is that the cables had to go from there all the way around to these monitors. It would have made more sense to put the cabinet here but then it would have been like crammed, shoved in, and I didn't want that, so I made it work. The only issues that couldn't be fixed without buying new things were an extension USB cable for my mouse, and then a longer display port cable for my monitor, and that was only because I wanted to move my monitor further over. I didn't want everything crammed in the left. I wanted everything to be more center, and I love it. It looks amazing, it's brilliant, and the most recent addition, I don't know if you can notice, Instead of the tripod that I used to use for my camera, while an effective tripod, I didn't like it. It was not good and... Uh, it, it, no, I mentioned before that it was crammed. It wasn't crammed when I put it on this desk, but it still wasn't great. So the other day I ordered and it arrived is um, an Elgato multi-mount large, which you can hopefully see. There you go. And then I also got um, the flex arm thing, which basically connects to here. Because originally the camera was here, I know I obviously want it closer, so that's what I got. You might have noticed in videos, while I am standing centre to the camera, it isn't centre to my desk, which isn't a big thing. I know it's not a big deal, but it does bother me, and oh, I am glad now that the thing my camera's on is mounted to the desk. It works, there's no chance of it falling over, and it just, it, it just looks perfect. It looks... Perfect. But anyway, let's look at what's on my desk and speaking of perfect, here is a lovely picture of Lucy. That's there so that when I'm working, if I ever get stressed, I can look over at that and I'll smile and she makes me feel better and motivated, so thank you. Um, underneath, you can see my Foxy plushie. He sat on a candle. I've got some earbuds, um, some baby wipes, my glasses, my sunglasses, my speakers. A uh, drawing that Lucy gave me, uh, my stream deck, my mouse, my keyboard, my amazing mouse pad, which I really do like. My audio interface with my two best friends on, we've got Stitch, and then my boy Steve. If you've never come by one of my Twitch streams, I am the world's sexiest Steve main, and I've wanted a Steve Pop figure for so long, and I'm so happy that I finally got one, and he looks so good. Uh, and speaking of behind my speaker, we've got my Elgato game capture, which is currently used to plug into my camera. Eventually I'd want to get something else to use so that the game capture can be used for console let's plays. And as well, you might notice behind Steven Stitch is this little tube. This is my cable tidy. And before I show you Roman, let's actually look at the cable tidy. Okay, so in fact, yeah, I'll show Roman. It looks beautiful, he looks stunning. He looks amazing as he always does. And then all his cables coming out. Uh, are you ready for this? This. This is one of the things I'm most proud of. Da, 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 da. Oh, it goes into one pipe. Oh, look at that. Look at my pipe. It looks so good. It looks so clean. Oh, the only thing I don't like is down here, but this is getting tidied. Do not worry. It is going to get tidied eventually. You don't know how long I've wanted to show this on camera, like this cable tidy specifically. I'm so proud. And then obviously, obviously we've got to look at, we've got to look at Roman. He looks amazing. We've also got my new projector, which I've been using a lot for background, for, for, for a background 
that looks brilliant and then down here we've got some blu-rays some horror films in here is like my technology we've got my camera boxes my pirate flag some loose cables some chargers an external hard drive and then this right one i've got my batman cosplay pieces i've got cowl stands my belt my gauntlets a lot of other pieces in there obviously as i said lego uh, this thing here this is a souvenir box this is from when me and raw got drunk and went to mcdonald's this is from my old mouse map um this is the receipt me and mr raw got from mcdonald's um some cinema movie tickets um a swatch from my first ever burgundy converse and then a swatch from my original bat suit that i no longer needed so if we move away from the office pot and we come over here this this is something i'm really really proud of let me just turn this on once again thank you to lucy because that was my birthday present last year that she got for me i'm a living legend not only is it a lyric from my outro song it's also something really motivational and just helps keep me going speaking of my outro and the lyric vr it's from a song that i played on beat saber so my vr headset controls the headset itself is there big tree figure some pops some lego my roman reigns figure a canvas on my Batfleck cosplay that the reason i got a canvas of myself is because one of my goals when cosplaying Batfleck was i want to get a shot that looks so good that i'm so proud that i think it's worthy of a canvas and that's the edit that i that i chose and i'm I fucking love it. I honestly, I encourage anybody if they have a picture of themselves in a cosplay that they are really proud of, get it on a canvas because you should be proud of you being proud, if that makes sense. Oh, this, this was something I got for my 18th birthday. It was drawn by the artist who did the comics for the comics, the comic series that was Doctor Who Adventures, if you remember those from years ago. And then if we go over here, we get to not only my shelf, but my happy shelf. And what I mean by that is, it's not just uh, everything on here has a sentimental meaning. Obviously, my tenant cut. Let's move him to the side. Thank you. We'll go from the bottom. Obviously, we've got boxes because I like saving boxes. I've got my keyboard, um, my Elgato things, my cooler, my old cooler, which is still in there. So if I have any spare one, I've got one. My audio interface, my graphics card, which cost me more than I will, I'm willing to admit, but... That's a story for another time. And if we move up here, you'll see my DC shelf, which has got some of my favourite DC collectibles in my collection. From my BVS grapple gun, all the way to my 2006 Lego Batcave. I grew up watching Lego Batman brick films on YouTube, and to finally have the cave that was used in those myself, it it feels weird, but I, I do love it. I've also got the Batarang. I've got a sealed copy of the 4K Ultra HD Snyder Cut. I've also got the same version of that for BVS. And then over here we've got my watchable versions of Man of Steel, BVS, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman and the Snyder Cut. My other DC films are over, over there, but these are the ones that I wanted here. Uh, then we go up to the next level of the happy shelf. The purpose behind it being called that is so that whenever I look at this shelf, each level makes me smile. For example, here... We've got a drawing that Lucy did for me, a happy, a happy memory from a friend's birthday. Uh, the first time I went on a big roller coaster, so thank you to them for encouraging me. When I met David Tennant and Billy Piper, um, when, I went, when I met Kyle, I went at a convention where, um, long story short, I was sexually abused at that convention. And that is how I remembered that convention for so long. But when I was designing and putting the shelf up, I was going through my pictures of meeting celebrities and it was when i put my david and billy one out i came across that one with kai and i remembered while that bad thing happened at the, that convention some great things happened as well namely i proposed jokingly to eve miles and that led to me getting pulled on stage by kai owen and it was really sweet so while that awful thing did happen there's also some positive memories like meeting kai owen eve miles so Let's focus on the positive, hence the happy shelf. So, keeping things positive, we've also got the RAM and CPU from Wheatley. So, it brought me a lot of joy having them out on display because the computer means a lot to me and I'm glad, I'm glad that they're there. Moving up, we've got my Doctor Who shelf. I've got my Tenant Years, my special steelbook, um, two sonic screwdrivers. My Tenant one is away i think it's in one of my suit pockets to be honest i've also got a, a small array of my figures like my, my main ones like 10 rows the tardis and then further up we've got 
this is kind of like the nostalgia slash preservation shelf some hard drives my old headphones or my mark player headphones they're the same one that marks you mark uses and as my hero i always wanted a pair but because they were second hand they're not damaged but to, uh, to, uh, uh, to avoid any chance of them getting damaged, they're on display and I now use the different ones. But I still love them and I'm glad I've got them. The Logitech C920, which is a webcam that all Let's Players have used. And I did love it, but in the end it just it just had issues. It was too low of a frame rate and it just, nah. I've also got my portal gun, a medal from a school sports day from a couple of years ago. Well, not a couple, many years ago now. A PlayStation 2 game that I, I hope someone in the comments recognises because this game was my fucking childhood. And then top shelf we've got not only three Snyder Cut figures, Batman, Superman and Aquaman, uh, I've also some comics, some gloves, and then my WWE Universal title which also has Roman Reigns' side plates on, and to have that, while it's annoying that it's not, my, not in my backdrop anymore like it used to be, it is nice having it high up. I still love my other one, but that's like the toy one. Still great, but that's on another level, and my favourite wrestler, he holds that title. Every Friday when I watch Smackdown, or every time there's a pay-per-view, I'll hold the title up when he does, and... I I love it. I really love it. I acknowledge my tribal chief. All that's really left is my wardrobe, which obviously my tenant cut, some posters, some memories, me and Mr. O in the DeLorean, um, some cosplay pictures, a Master Chief print that Lucy got for me, which I fucking love. Me and Lucy at Alton Towers, me and Mr. O at Alton Towers, another Halo print, Fat Freddy, my cape and cowl, my bat suit, my Snyder cut canvas, and then fan art, which I do just want to say, if anyone out there wants to draw me fan art, if you can't give it me in person, obviously, then send me a high quality image on social media because I promise you it will go on my wall because fan art isn't something I receive that often, which is fine. But when I do, it never fails to leave me speechless because I know, because I can't draw for shit. But my fiance Lucy can, she's an amazing artist and I know how much time and effort it takes. So to see someone do that for a drawing of me or something in my videos, it genuinely means the world. So yeah. And speaking of that, this piece was drawn for me recently. When I get a chance, it is getting printed off and going on the wall. I, every time, as I said, I'm speechless and I'm really, really grateful. And as well, before we wrap up, there is one thing I forgot to mention. But you notice this in the cinematics, I've got a lot of RGB lighting. Obviously, Roman is a spaceship, but as well, the under my desk lights up, my shelves light up, and the storage cabinet that Roman is on lights up. So, since it's dark, I wanted the opportunity to show it off. But before I do, I just want to give a big shout out to these lights that I got on Amazon. They're on my shelf and my cabinet. I've also got two behind me for alternate desk lamps, and it's these... They're 20 quid on Amazon, it's a six pack and I bought two. Okay, so obviously the centerpiece is Roman, my mouse, keyboard, headphones, mouse mat and stream deck. But, and I should just bear in mind the chair is there so forgive me if you can't see the shelf, but I'll give you a proper angle. And there you have it, the blue and red of my cabinet, under my desk which looks amazing. The happy shelf is all lit up, which looks completely stunning and then behind me which oh it looks so so it literally looks incredible oh Maltesers in the bin nice and as well I feel like it would be a crime if I didn't show off the desk going up or down at least once so it goes up boy That never gets older than my cable goes up with it. There's plenty of slack. It doesn't drag. It doesn't yank. It looks perfect. Be honest. How many of you can go under your desk and have a rave? I'm a live That's what I thought. Anyway, carrying on. Over to me. That's why I'm going to leave this video here. I hope it was enjoyable. I hope I didn't ramble too much and yeah I'll be honest I've put off filming this part of the video for about two three weeks that's how long ago it was when James helped me film those cinematics and I think it's been a month or five weeks since I rearranged everything 
And the reason is, I worry about coming across as arrogant or a show-off or all those negative connotations, but I had to think to myself and I realised, no, because that isn't why I wanted to do this video. I wanted to do it because I'm really proud. I've worked super fucking hard to get my equipment, my room, my setup, my office to this level. Like, I remember when I first got my Batman chair, when I first bought Roman, and I took this picture of my old setup. After I took that picture, I was teary-eyed, and then the same goes for how, how my room looks now when I look at it now. The reason is, I remember dreaming those things, like what my room used to look like. I remember dreaming that, and then what it looks like now. It blows my mind. It, it really does so. If you could take anything away from this video, take away the fact that your dreams can come true. It takes a lot of patience, and as someone who doesn't like being patient, trust me, combined with trying to be patient and a lot of hard work and never giving up, your dreams can come true. I am so proud of how everything looks. And of course, it goes without saying to all the people who have supported me, friends, family, Lucy, my audience, you all mean the world to me. It, it really does mean the world to me. I wouldn't have got to where I am now nearly as fast without all the love and support, so yeah. If by chance you have any questions about anything in this video, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons. Yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm repping. I'm a living legend.